Okay, cool. So I tell people all the time, man, and I don't know if I've already mentioned this to you, but you know, obviously I'm going to sound super biased, but I mean, it is what it is. Like I truly believe a, any small business owner, like I don't care what, what you're pushing, any type of small business owner, the two most important tools that we can have in 2020 and, and beyond are, is, is Facebook advertising and Kartra. Like, and if it's not Kartra, then it right. has to be some type of landing page software. But the reason why I'm so, you know, up on Kartra is just because of all the different features that we would have to pay separately if it wasn't for oh. Kartra. You know, like I'd have mm. to, I'd have to pay for my landing pages separately. I'd have to pay for my email autoresponder separately. Yeah, right. 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 And then I'd have to pay for a yeah. calendar separately. And, and there's, there's, there's a right. few free ones out there, but you're, it's only free for so long and then you got to upgrade it. So I just right. like controlling everything out of one software, man. So again, this software is the most important and, and, and knowing Facebook ads. And with that, you could take your business to the next level, but then you could provide this exact service to other businesses and they'll pay you a ton of money for it as well. And, and it's those two, Kartra, managing someone's landing page software and their email automation. That's what's going to justify your services when you start pitching these business owners it, because everyone's pitching them Facebook advertising. Right but not many are pitching them. I'm also going to manage your landing pages. I'm also going to manage your email list, which is your email automation. I'm going to make sure these leads are coming in. I'm going to make sure that these leads are getting, are getting, are, are being communicated with on the daily basis. Like that's my, my job. And, and you right. run everything out of Kartra. So once you learn right. this software, it's like, you're going to be, you're going to be lethal, man, because businesses, that's the number one thing they need. They need to run some type of online ad and they need to manage that lead. So as that lead comes in for a restaurant, that lead needs to be getting emails every so often. And so that's going to justify, again, mm -hmm. your service because you can do that for them. You can manage this email automation and you can manage their landing pages and run their ads. Like that alone, man, is a, is a monthly package that any business owner would pay for. I don't, I don't care what they do. You know, you got, you got social media marketing and trying to post for people and trying to manage their Facebook page. No, you don't need to do none of that for them. Like it's all about Facebook ad and, and a landing page. That's it, man. So that's why I always tell people, try to learn this as much as you can. You got me. You're always, after our call right here, you're always going to have me. So you can always reach out to me. We'll always jump on and I'll always help you with Kartra. And, and, and I ain't ever going to charge you again for any of this stuff. It's only these initial five calls, but even without me, like we got these Tuesday and Thursday calls that you should be jumping on. Like if you can, like if you can make them live, yeah. then, then jump on them live. They're at 4 PM Eastern time, Tuesday and Thursdays. But, but if you can't make it live, then just try to watch the replay because that, that investment of that All one right. hour watching the replay, that's an investment in your business. You got to learn this stuff, you know? Um, and then also the Facebook group, there's, there's like 21,000 people in the Kartra Facebook group. So it's like, if you're ever stuck on anything yeah. and you can't reach me, like post a question in the Facebook group and man, you have like 50 people re reply, you know? So, so the support yeah, is I saw it like in there, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. It, is, it is. And I was going through all the features and it was, it was, it was I honestly just, it was so many features that I had to like step back like, oh, okay. Wait. That's like, why I'm going to dumb it do down. I'm going to dumb it like, down. I'm going to dumb it down for you. Yeah. Not only on this call, but, but also check my emails. Cause I have you, I have you on one of my list. I have you in one of my sequences, right? Like I have you because you're, right. you're you, you signed up with my affiliate link. So now I have right. a handful of affiliates that are on a specific email list that are going to be receiving automated emails from me. And so my whole intention with yeah. that is to teach you different parts of Kartra without over, over complicating it. So, um, and that's what, what, that's what I'm going to show you here is. And, and, and I also, I was also researching just a sidebar. I was also re with that, that, uh, Pixel helper. Um, yep. um, I was just going to some of the difference, you know, just a little, you know, cause it's obviously bookmark and I would just go to some of the sites that, you know, I normally see mm -hmm. and some of the biggest sites that I, I didn't, and then it popped up. I was like, Oh my God, these people have a, a picture. <laughs> and I was right. like, Oh, like, yep. like, Oh, okay. And, and then, and like, then you'll trip now out right now. Now you see it, but then on the flip side, now you'll start tripping out on how you'll start seeing different sites and, and you, you would think they're all that, but then you check and they ain't even got a pixel on it. So right. 
that's yeah. what I call out yeah. a lot of people as well. Like a lot of people when I'm talking to business owners, you know, I'll be on, 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 on screen share. We'll be, you know, visually looking at everything like this and I'll say, okay, cool. Give me your website. I'll go to their website and there ain't no pixel on it. And I'm like, no wonder why you ain't doing it. No wonder why your Facebook ads ain't, ain't doing nothing for you. Cause you ain't tracking none of this. You ain't even got your pixel on the damn page, you know? So, right, so exactly. I can see who's tracking me oh, and I can see who's not, you know, who's not up on game, mm -hmm. you know? So, so right. let's, let's break that, this I down real quick. Thing, yeah. Heck yeah. Heck that's okay. the most important thing. Even, even when, even if you're not running Facebook ads, this is what you could tell any business owner. Even if you're not running Facebook ads, your pixel still should be on your website. Like if you have any online presence whatsoever, your pixel should still be on that right. website. Because even, even though you're not running ads, Facebook, the pixel is on the page. So Facebook is still segmenting and Facebook is still categorizing all these visitors. So if you, if you, so I would tell a business right. owner, I would say, hey man, if you would simply set up a few custom audiences, you'll start being able to create this bucket. You'll start filling up this bucket of people who are visiting your website. So whenever you do plan on running Facebook ads, you can target all those visitors and show them your next ad. But if you don't have your Facebook pixel right. on there, and if you ain't creating a custom audience of all those who are visiting, your website ain't this doing shit shopper. for you. Yeah, that's, 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 why that, that's what I was telling them yesterday about Spinkle Shoppers. Yep, yep. You could call them out like that. And, and that's why a lot of times mm. when people think, when people have a website, they think that traffic is getting there. It's like, dude, that's, that's, the, that's the biggest myth online. The fact that you have a website and you think people are visiting it. That's the biggest myth. That's right. the biggest myth, especially all these restaurants or any, any barber shop or any spa. Like, like people think because they have a website, they think people are actually visiting it. It's like, dude, that's, that, that's, that couldn't be right. further than the truth. It's like the way really people visit your, your website is if you're a real nationwide brand, that's one thing. Cause I can Google you and find it. But if you're not like a big nationwide brand and you're just a mom and pop shop and you just, you, you're on the corner, you got your one little store and yeah, you got some website, but it's whatever. It's like, dude, no one's finding it. Like, unless you're running ads, no one's finding it, you know? And, and, and so that, right. that's, that's where you're going to bring value, man, because you're going to be able to run ads to that website. You're going to be able to capture a lead. You're going to be able to manage that lead. You're going to make sure that that lead's getting future emails. That would, that's what I would do if I were you, man. I would provide Facebook advertising, landing page, and email automation services. And I would charge businesses starting at a thousand a month minimum that's minimum you can easily get 1500 but i would start at a thousand right. until you start getting good and then and then after you get a few clients then bump it up to 1500 a month and then go after maybe a higher level type of business where they can afford to pay you 2000 a month go get go get five of those and manage those you know well can i ask how well just yourself um being so wild, how many how many clients do you have like that, that, that ain't my uh, model no more you? like that's not my model. That's the beginner model. Like it, like when you're just starting out, you're going to go okay. get some clients. Like that's, that's like the beginner model where I'm at now. I've been doing this for four years. So where I'm at now is I'm actually in Kartra. I'm in the membership section right there to the left, my memberships. And now what I'm doing right. now, my memberships, what I'm doing now is I'm taking all my knowledge. I'm putting it in a membership course and I'm selling that. So, so right, right, my knowledge, right, yeah. what, what's my knowledge? My knowledge is Facebook advertising, landing pages, email automation, how to set up the damn thing. And then, and then different aspects of social media marketing. So I have my niche. I right. know exactly the, the service that, that gets them happy. I know exactly what they need. And now I'm able to record videos and sell them that. Right. So my niche of real estate right. agents, right. I would bring on monthly retaining clients for four years. But now I'm to the point where it's like, no, I don't want to charge you monthly. I want to teach you how to do this yourself. And so what I'm doing right. with you to, to keep it 100, what I'm doing with you with B money, what I'm doing with you is I'm literally solidifying my course. I'm doing these live coaching calls to really see what the market needs and what the market is missing. 
I'm solidifying my, my, my offer. And now what I'm going to do after I'm done with you is I'm going to straight go back to the drawing board and I'm going to record these videos, not with anyone on it, just me where I'm doing a tutorial. Right. Here's step one, guys, your Facebook mm. pixel. Here's step two, bookmarking all the damn pages. Here's step three, freaking setting up the custom audiences, custom convert. That's where I'm at now is recording all the videos yeah. and then running Facebook ads to get people to watch my presentation on me pitching it to them. Right. And then, and then they oh, buy, the and then they buy my <laughs> membership course. What's that? You have me spend my savings. It definitely worked. You have me spend my savings. So that, that, it right? worked. See, and, and, that, and that's a live coaching call. But as I, as I solidify it and put it all into a membership course inside of Kartra, I, I'm already, I'm already 99% done. Like I have 55 videos that I have packaged up in a membership course in Kartra that I'm going to be selling at 1500 a piece. And so where right. I'm at now in right. my career is I want to be selling five, six, seven per day at 1500 each. And it's a coaching course. Right teaching people from a to z how to run these facebook ads but not with me doing it with them it's them doing it with my video and i'll maybe have a couple coaching calls per week but but nothing like one-on-one -on -one like you and i you know um right that's right. where i'm at that's where i'm at next where i want to do that so rather than taking on monthly clients and doing it for them i just want to teach people to do it themselves you know, but, right. but, but even yeah. these coaching calls, even these coaching calls, that's why I'm not going to be doing these coaching calls forever because these one-on-one -on -one coaching calls, this shit's time consuming too. So I can't possibly mm -hmm. talk to 10 people a day. Like how am I, I'm exhausted after talking to just you, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, I can't be talking to, gonna... you know, 10 people a day doing it this way either. That's why I'm going to replace myself with simple videos and, and call that my membership course and, and, and sell that. Yeah. You know, but, Absolutely. but that's why, that's why after, after you get good at getting some clients here, here's where you would step up in memberships and creating a course. What I would do if I were you, here's what I'd be, here's how I'd be thinking. But again, everyone's different and I don't know what the hell you're thinking, but, but, but if you're thinking anywhere within right. these lines of digital marketing and helping businesses and learning Facebook ads and all this stuff, like if, if that's your, if that's your vibe and that's what you're trying to feel right now and trying to, trying to get good at. What I would do if I were you is I would go and get these restaurants. Let's just say, for example, you know, you go at restaurants or whatever, any, 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 anyone, anyone, let's just say restaurants. What I would do is I would go after these restaurants. I'd go get five, six, seven of them. And I'd get really good at running Facebook ads and managing their landing pages and email automation. So you're mastering Kartra and you're mastering mm -hmm. Facebook ads. And with restaurants, again, it's a simple ad. You can capture a shitload of leads by running some simple ads for them. But here's my point. I would get right. really good at that. I'd go get five, six, seven clients and maybe run with maybe, and, and I'm talking monthly clients where they're paying a thousand a month, right? 1500 a month. I'd go get a few of those clients and I'd probably rock with them for six to 12 months. After you get really good at that, mm -hmm. now Bryson has knowledge. Now what you can do is you can go and create some video courses inside my memberships in Kartra you go set up 15 videos teaching a brand new entrepreneur how to go get restaurants and charge them what you were charging them. So now you mastered your craft. Now you could turn around and teach me how you did that. But you're going to teach me in video mm. form. You're going to put a red bow on it and sell the damn thing. And, and the going right. rate for courses like that are anywhere from 500 to two grand just for your knowledge. Mm. And that's why right now with your, with your songwriting, you have knowledge. That's where I was trying to get out on our last phone call, trying to dig deep into finding out, okay, is that your profession or is that just something? That's where I was headed with that because you've got knowledge. If I could package up that knowledge in the form of videos put it in my memberships and sell that rather than selling a ClickBank offer. I'd make more money. Right. And that's better. You know, if I was teaching people how to write, mm -hmm. teaching people how to song, write, teaching people how to go get clients or teaching people how, whatever the hell you do back up and say, damn, can I teach someone how to do what I do 
and can I do it on video and can I do a tutorial and can I do a screen share where I'm teaching people all my secrets and I'm teaching them exactly what I do. That's when you really take your business to the next level because you can only have so many monthly clients. You can only coach so many people one-on-one -on -one like I'm doing with you. In order to replace yourself, it needs to be digital and it needs to be automated. Just like a song. When you write a song, if you wrote a song for Dre, or for Dre, for Drake, if you wrote, if you wrote, if you wrote, wrote a song for anyone, if you wrote a song for Outkast, if you wrote, wrote a song for freaking Jermaine Dupri, if you wrote a song, you got that publishing, that's residual income because that song's going to play forever. Same with digital courses. You have video. These videos can be purchased forever, right? So, so that's just how you right. replace yourself, man. And those, and those videos can be purchased while you're sleeping. Those videos can be purchased without you talking to a single soul, you know? Right. So that's long just something time. I'm going to plant in your, in your mind right now. That's, that's long-term, but, but mastering the craft is, is first. And then you, and then if I were you, man, I'd, I'd go, I'd go start teaching. I'd go start teaching young entrepreneurs how to go after restaurants and get them to pay you a thousand to 2000 a month. Any beginner young entrepreneur right. would love that knowledge. That is game. And, and again, you could sell that. Yeah, at, I mean, I mean, that's my, my, uh, what's that? I said, but that, that, that ultimately like is, is I'm des you know, I definitely see my, I saw myself doing that. I just want to get like, once I get, good and get the income that's coming in i'm like okay mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. i know how to because right now we're like when yes. i first when i first yep. talk about it it's, yep. it's so I, I i load so much information on and they're, they're kind of like uh you know so i just need to get it yep. down to a point to where i can make a quick yes, um man. ladder pitch to help them in. yeah so that's why i'm just i'm excited about you know getting all this yes, down man. you know because I've been, I've been we'll get there we'll get there for it, sure so let's click on let's click on my pages. Let's just get up. Do you have any pages up already? Because I know you did on the old account, but do, do you have any pages up over here? Uh, and do you even know I how to add the pixel? Do. Uh yeah. Um, that's gonna be in the setting. Um, in the. Um, yeah. Hold on. I think it's. Yeah. Well, let me see if I can. And then also, what we'll start so doing. I was, what I was playing, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go for it. Uh, what I was planning on doing, what I was trying to do uh, with this page, yes, it's, I think it's in uh, settings, isn't it? Yes, the tracking code. Yeah, I see a tracking code, yeah, and then it's down here with Facebook. I'll just copy the pixel and put it in that when that opens. Yes. Uh, down here. Um, so what this is basically what I was trying to do is I was going to run, and I thought about your AdSense, um, and as I was going through it, and of course I was looking at some of your other videos, um, so what, this is what I was going to do through like three different campaigns. So I was going to do one to schedule a call, mm -hmm. you know, to get and get the calendar and get and run the ad campaign that way. And then I was going to do a survey one mm -hmm. where another, where another page where it's people who can do a survey to give me their, you know, the, to prospect a call. Mm -hmm. And then I was mm -hmm. going to run another ad, um, just for like the normal page or maybe like a video sales call. And I was going to hire a sale, a, a spokesperson with a script and then, you know, somebody that a representative. And then I was going to put that on the page and I was going to try to run those three off of the culture landing pages to see how that would generate just so I can get different data to figure out which one would be the best one. Should I do it where I'm running an ad to schedule a free strategy call or should I do it with, you know, and see, mm -hmm. or is the quiz, the quiz is working better or is the normal ad to help out small restaurants, you know, get it, get, you know, I, that's what I was just kind of, kind of work that out. Okay. Okay. I'm glad you brought up what all you that. that? I, I, yeah. Okay. okay. That, that, I, I, I hear what you're saying here. Here could be, here's what, what could be super um, just, just easier and, and, and cheaper if you just ran, if you ran this, but maybe not a strategy call, maybe if you, if you ran it to, um, um, download, download your, download my free cheat sheet showing you the, the top seven mistakes restaurants make when trying to market on social media. So now you're giving away uh, some type okay. of cheat sheet. Now you're giving away some type of PDF. It's non aggressive because an ad going out to a cold market, a person who doesn't know you just yet, for them to say, oh, I want to talk to that guy. It's like, they don't even know you yet. 
especially especially if you're running an ad for the right. first time. Like, ain't no one getting on the call with you right now. Like, right. no one even knows us, right? So, so this strategy call right. approach, it doesn't. This strategy call approach isn't effective unless you're running a ton of ads. If you're running a ton of ads, that means that we're we're flexing our pixel. We're creating custom audiences of people who are landing here and watching our video ads, preferably video ads, but that's a whole nother can of worms. Right. I don't even know if you're comfortable putting out video yet. We'll get there later. But if you're putting out yeah. video and people are watching your video, then you're creating Facebook custom audiences around people who are watching it. And, and because you're putting out Facebook video ads every week, that pixel and those custom audiences are getting a shitload of data. So now we're retargeting, we're retargeting. Right. We keep getting in front of people that are watching your videos. We keep getting people that we keep retargeting people who are landing on your page because we're creating audiences of people right. who are landing here. And now these people keep seeing you when that happens, then it's good to go for a strategy call because now these people keep seeing you. They've been seeing you for the past two months because you keep targeting them. And you keep retargeting them because they're right. watching your videos and you know what the hell you're doing on the Facebook ad site. But if we just plan on running one right, freaking right. ad, and especially if we're running an ad and it's not even a picture of us or if it's not even a video of us, and that's only one right. ad, if we, if we think people are going to schedule a call for that, hell no. We're, 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 we, we got something else coming. Like That ain't going to happen. But, but when you can run an ad – and give away something of value for free. And yes, a strategy call, yes, it's free. Yes, that is value, of course. But there's more physical lifting for that individual to be like, damn, I want to talk to this person when that's not gonna happen right now. Like it's not gonna happen right now. But if it but right. if we approached it where, okay. where we approached it in, in a very non-aggressive and a very nonchalant type of way where it's like, hey, click here to download a free PDF. This PDF is going to give you the top 10 tips that restaurants are doing today to capture leads on social media, or it could be the opposite. Click here to download the top seven mistakes that, P that restaurants make when trying to build a business on social media. Like that's now something enticing and it's very non-aggressive because I don't need right. to get on the phone with you. I don't need to even talk to you. I just, I just could put my email and download the damn PDF right now, right? Like that's something fast right. and something instant. And that's, that, 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 that would get you a ton of leads. And now, 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 now all these people are downloading your PDF and now you're hitting them on the back end or you're hitting it, not, not, or, and you're hitting them on the thank you page. So you're hitting them on the thank you page and you're hitting them on the back end. And here's what I mean by hitting them. I come here from an ad, click here to download your free PDF. And, and, and I put my name and email. I click submit. Then I go to the thank you page. On that thank you page, it has to be you. It has to be a video of you. Right. If it ain't going to be a video, it could be an image. But I, I, I highly recommend a video because it's simple. You got a good look, bro. Like you look good. You look professional. You got, you got all that going on. So why not throw out a video of you? Here's what that video should consist of. And that could be a short 60-second video. But, but there's four things, and I'm recording the call, so don't worry about trying to remember it. But the four things are, when I click submit, I go to your thank you page. It's you on video giving me four bullet points. Bullet point number one is thanking you, thanking them. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you for downloading your top seven tips on restaurants, social media marketing, blah, blah, blah. Number one, I'm thanking them. And I'm thanking them with high gratitude. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm saying it like five times. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for downloading my 2020 top seven tips on what restaurants are doing to capture more leads on social media than ever before. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's number one. And then number two, I'm introducing myself. My name is Bryson. I am a digital marketing expert. My passion is in helping, real, is, is helping restaurants capture more leads and build a huge brand on social media. I've been in the Atlanta area for the past 15 years. This is my home. This is where I've been doing business forever. And my whole passion is helping our local community, blah, blah, blah. Number two is introducing yourself and, okay. and why you're so fired up about what okay. the hell you're doing. And then number three is telling them to check their email. 
hey, check your email. I just sent over your top seven tips. You're going to want to open that up and read it right away. These are the seven mistakes that restaurants make when trying to build a business on social media. I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this PDF. Download it now. I just emailed it to you. That's number three. I emailed it to you. And also, by the way, make sure you check your emails over the next few days because I have a ton of tips that I'm going to be sending you via email that are going to help you take your restaurant to the next level on social media. So don't miss any emails I send. I'm going to be sending them periodically over the next couple of weeks. Don't miss them. That's number three. So check your email. I just emailed you the PDF, but also check your email over the next couple of weeks because I got, I got a shitload of uh, content coming your way. That's number three. And then number four, the last one, you're going to have a button. So right below that video, there'd be a button to go to your calendar. So the fourth thing, and I'm saying all this in 60 seconds, the fourth oh, thing, okay. the fourth thing would be, and by the way, if you'd like to schedule a free strategy call where I give you all my tips and strategies on how restaurants are thriving on social media today, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. And by the way, I hope you enjoy reading that book. As much as I enjoy writing for you, check your emails because I got a bunch of content coming your way. I'll talk to you soon. So the fourth bullet point was to right. click the button and schedule a call. So now as I gave them something of value up front, now I'm asking for the call after that. So the back end, I'm either right. going to get you to schedule a call on the thank you page or I'm going to get you to schedule a call on the, on the, on the 10 emails that I got coming your way. And in those 10 emails, right. okay. I'm going to be talking about the PDF. In the 10 emails, okay. I'm, going to be, I'm, going to be, I'm going to be referencing the PDF. And in the 10 emails, there's two objectives. Objective number one is to continue to educate you on that PDF and give you little bullet points in my 10 emails. Objective number one, I'm trying to nurture you. I'm trying to get you to freaking remember who the hell I am. I'm trying, to, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to build a relationship. That's objective number one with these emails. I'm educating you on what was in that PDF. I'm staying top of mind because I'm going to keep emailing you every other day for the next freaking 20 days. I got 10 emails lined up. That's objective number one. Objective number two right. is in each email, there's a link to my calendar. And hey, Jason, by the way, if you'd like to jump on a call, where I give you all my tips and tricks, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. And don't forget to check email number nine tomorrow. I got a ton of great information coming your way. Talk to you soon. So in each email, each okay. email is written to educate them on that PDF, continue to nurture that lead. And then, and then the second objective is to get them to schedule a damn call. So now I'm, I'm, I, it right. was the same objective, right? It was the same objective, which is, which was to get them a strat was to get, was to get a strategy call, but I'm just doing it differently. I'm giving them something up front right. for free of value. And I'm trying to get that call on the back end. Right. Yeah. That's my, cause that's that, okay. So, um, yeah, I think I, so I could just, and I, I think I was looking at one of your other videos you you were saying, you know, just go to Fiverr and tell them about the topic that you want. Yes, seven, man. Well, yes. Seven, 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 and yeah, yes. hire them to do that. You, you could spend, okay, with you my could spend like 15 bucks, man. You go to Fiverr, you look yeah. for a ghost writer and, and, and 15, no more than 20 bucks, no more than 20 bucks. You reach out to somebody from a different, from on Fiverr. Obviously they're all from different countries and they're all amazing. They're all amazing, but you find one with a high rating. You find, you find one with multiple reviews, anywhere from 50 plus reviews. 20 bucks and you give that person a topic and they'll freaking write you a few pages on that topic. You get that back, you get that word document back from them. And then you add some images, mm -hmm. you add your own little flavor, you add your two cents. You take, you take the three pages that they wrote and you turn that into seven pages with what you can add to it. And also with right. images. So now you got this seven page right. PDF to give out for free. That's your bait. Right. So, okay. so now okay. your entire online presence evolves around giving away this PDF. No one comes into Bryson's world unless they download my PDF. And then now for, I'm going to be sending out this lead magnet to, to, and when I'm doing my AdSense, it's going to be specifically when I'm doing my interests, it's going to be for restaurants or Heck small yeah. business owners or. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. 
You want to, you want to niche, you want to niche down. So it's not small business owners. It's more like if you're a restaurant owner, if you run a restaurant, if you're a freaking, you know, if you're in the Atlanta area and are building a, or, or, you know, growing a restaurant. So we're niching in, not small business, because mm. that's a million small businesses. We're niching in. So down so the restaurants, it, right? Yeah. So if it's restaurants, then that small business, two words, that turns into one word, and that's restaurants. You know, very specific, very specific. And that's why when you reach out to a ghostwriter, that's the specifics. I need you to write me based on this topic around restaurants. You know, maybe advantages that restaurants have when marketing on social media. Or, or, or reach out to a ghostwriter and say, hey, can you write me a few pages on mistakes that restaurant owners make when trying to market on social media? Right. I would do okay. both, either, either one, right? Because both of those are right. enticing. Both of those are enticing. If I want to learn the top seven tips that, 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 that restaurants are doing to, to succeed on social media, or if I want to know the top seven mistakes that restaurants make when trying to market on social media, like both of those are enticing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, Especially so just, if you're looking to get more business. What's that? Especially if they're 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 looking to to get more business, and you know if they're struggling right now. Which, oh yeah. Which a lot of the restaurants are. Yeah, yes. COVID. Oh, of course. And they all mm -hmm. know they need an online presence. They all know that they need to be on social media. But I'm here to tell you right now, 99.99999% of them don't know what they're doing. And that's a fact. That's not my opinion. All right. That's a fact. So, so if I was a yeah. restaurant owner and I was struggling and all of a sudden I'm seeing an ad, download this PDF to find out what the mistakes are or to find out how you can grow even faster on social media, download now. It's a free PDF. It's like, shit, I'm all over it. You know, right. but, but again, oh, your okay, strategy okay. is to get them on the phone. So I'm going to either do it on the thank you page or I'm going to do it via email automation. Right. That's, that's okay. what I would be doing with this. I'm going to waste a lot of money. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. I'm glad we cleared that up.